Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you the entire wedding collection offered by Megsburg cards, photo books, invitations, RSVP cards, and stationery. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. I have made several videos about Mixbook in the past and most of them, if not all of them, were travel themed. However, Mixbook has been expanding on their wedding range or wedding shop and now they offer an entire collection that you can use on your very special day. In this video, I want to show you and review for you all the products that you can use for your wedding day, uh, starting with the most important one, photo books, invitations, thank you cards, RSVP cards, all kinds of other cards that you might need to use on your wedding, guest books and stationary items. If you visit the Mixbook website and click on the photo book tab, there's going to be something called a wedding collection. And if you go into that um, section of the website, you're going to see all the products that are available in the wedding theme section and you will be able to personalize all of these products. Now the great thing about these cards and photo books and other wedding themed products is that they come harmonized. So if you pick one theme from the editor for your photo book, you can use the exact same theme throughout the other products that you customize. So for the cards, for the guest book and for the stationery as well. And you see that very soon in my close-up shots. There's also a section for wall art where you can get canvases, um, acrylic prints and so on. So I'm going to touch on that one as well. However, I haven't got uh, any wall art samples here, so I can only show you and point you into the right direction on the website. So Mixbook was kind enough to send me a range, quite a wide range of products to show you, and I'm going to go through all of them one by one, but if you don't know who Mixbook is, they're one of the biggest photo book makers in the world, and they are headquartered in the United States, but their products are available all around the world. Now, just a little note here, some of the products and some of the options that you can select with the products are not going to be available outside the US. So if you want the full range, um, you need to be inside the United States. If you are outside the United States, you can still benefit from most of the products, but some options like some paper types or some binding types are not going to be available from every single shop outside the United States. The editor works online only and you have to use a computer to create these products. At the moment there is no smartphone editor and you can't use the editor offline. So let's start with the most important one, the photo books. So I've got these photo books here, one landscape, one portrait and one square, so one of each and they all have slightly different um, options inside, so I can show you a variety. But let's talk first a bit about the creation process. So you have to go to the photo book section on the website, and first of all, you have to select a theme. A theme is basically just a look, a specific look and um, bundle of elements used in the specific layout in the book. So Mixbook has lots and lots of different uh, themes and um, layouts. Some of them are very funky and colorful, others are quite elegant and minimalist looking, and you've got the, the standard white and black uh, plain background elements as well. If you like any of these themes, you can click on them and you can preview some of the pages. You can see it in square, portrait or landscape format as well. And when you are happy with your selection, you click start book and the editor is going to open up. At this stage, you don't have to select a book size, but you have to select a book aspect ratio. When the editor opens up, you have to add your photos, and these can be from your computer or from your social accounts. Once the photos are imported into your project, you can start dragging them into your layout. Now, these um, photo book templates are ready-made, so you've got, I think, 20 pages which are pre-designed for you and if you're lucky and your pictures fit in all you need to do is drag them in and change some of the text or add some description but of course most of the photos and most of our experiences will need a little bit of tweaking and editing and you can do anything within these templates you can um, move them around you can change the number of photos you can change the text you can personalize it and customize it any way you want to so the possibilities are endless when the book is ready you have to select your options and these options are going to be the size of the book within the aspect ratio, the cover of the book and the paper of the book. 
Now, when you select your papers, you've got four different options, two options for a standard perfect bound book option and two choices for the lay flat option. The standard photo book doesn't open fully flat, it's perfect bound so the pages are printed double sided and they are stuck or glued together at the spine. These photo books are uh, much more budget friendly and they are also uh, much thinner and less heavy. So if you want to create a quick book or if you want to create a wedding album and give it away to your guests and you need like 50, then this one is definitely your best option for that. And in this book type, you've got two paper choices, the semi-gloss and you've also got the pearl. For the cover, you can choose from glossy hardcover, soft cover, matte hardcover with a dust jacket. And you can also choose a leatherette hardcover, which comes in black color and that also comes with a dust jacket. So these are your options for the covers. Now, if you choose the lay flat option for your photo book, the pages are going to be a lot thicker and very rigid. And this is really good when it comes to wedding albums because these are books that you want to keep for a very long time and they, you want them to have that kind of wow factor, something that looks very elegant, something that looks very special. So these books cost a little bit more, but of course it's reflected in the quality and the touch. They are much much thicker and much heavier but as I said the pages do not bend so they are quite rigid and it's not going to be so easily damaged as the one with the thinner pages. So for example if you want to create one main book for yourself and you want to give away a few books to the parents or family members then you can do the lay flat for yourself and you can give away maybe the perfect bound to your guests or family members. In the case of the lay flat book you've got two options for the paper again one is going to be a complete matte option and the second one is going to be a lustrous option. This book type comes with just one cover option and that's a matte uh, image wrap hardcover. You can't choose the glossy and you can't choose the leather cover for this book. So as you can see, I've got all three uh, formats of the same photos and all three of them work really well within the same theme. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose. It's a matter of taste. Regarding the sizes, you can see the size selection on the screen now. You've got quite a few choices for the landscape and square and you've also got one portrait size. The soft cover books start at around $16. The hardcover books um, with standard pages start at around $29 and the lay flat book starts at around $45 full price. Now you have to remember when it comes to mixed book, they always have weekly deals, uh, which is usually uh, up to 50% off. The bigger the book, the bigger the discount. So you're never going to pay a full price for any of these books. For the latest discount codes and coupon codes, head on to my blog, thephotobeguru.com slash deals. And I always have the latest voucher codes for mixed book there. And uh, just one more thing about the photo book. The theme you see here is by Martha Stewart. And if I forgot to mention, uh, besides the many themes that Mixbook created for you, you've also got some designer themes which are created by people who partnered up with Mixbook. Some people are from YouTube, crafts um, people and designers, and some very famous names like Martha Stewart, who uh, also created a couple of nice themes for wedding and also for other occasions. For my samples, I chose two themes by Martha Stewart. One of them is going to be the golden theme, which you'll see on the cards as well. And the second one is going to be a nice, more muted floral theme. So let's move on to the cards. When it comes to weddings, you're going to need a lot of cards and a lot of stationery. You have to send out invitations. You have to send out save the date cards. You have to send out thank you cards, RSVP cards, and you need to print out maybe some menus or um, information cards where to go. So anything that you need to give out to your guests, Mixbook has an option for it. And not only they have very nice card stock, they also have lots of pre-designed templates. So all you really need to do is change the information on these templates and your card is ready for any occasion. I've got two bundles here, by the way, as I mentioned. So one of them is the golden bundle by Martha Stewart and the other one is the floral. Let's start with the most important cards. We've got here the bigger cards, which all come in one size, five by seven inches. And the first one here is the golden one, which uh, basically has foil accents. So it's real gold foil and it comes in three different colors. It comes in gold, rose gold and silver. So you can choose any of these and the different designs on the card, which are foil accents, are going to look very metallic and that gives again a wow factor to these cards. 
So you can get uh, an invitation card, as you can see here, or the save the date card, thank you card, and these are the most important ones. You can personalize both sides of these cards, and they, of course, come with an envelope. The envelope can be pre-printed with your address on it. You obviously have to pay a very small surcharge for it. And for the cards, you can choose from six different paper types. You've got satin, signature matte, premium matte, pear, finish, cotton texture and luxe board. Besides the different card stock you can choose for these cards, you can also choose from six different shapes of the card. Now it's always going to be the same size, but the edges are going to be trimmed in different ways. You can get a standard square, you can get um, a ticket option, you can get rounded corners, or you can get a crest card, uh, vintage crest and double rounded cards. So you can see these on the, on the screen now. The great thing about these cards is that there is no minimum quantity you need to order. So you can get a single card or you can get a big bundle of cards. Let me just show you the second theme which is again by Martha Stewart. But as you can see, this one is a lot more subtle, is more classic looking, and it has a blue floral kind of uh, ornament on it. And it's using a much more uh, scripty kind of um, traditional text on it. Now you can also see, hopefully on the screen now, that the cardstock used for these two is different. So the floral one is using the cotton textured stock and the golden one is using the signature matte. Now both of these are beautiful. What you can instantly see is that the cotton texture is a little bit more creamy and the signature matte is brilliant white. So if you want that very clean white look, then maybe go for the signature matte or the satin, but the cotton actually looks much more elegant and it has that kind of um, expensive look about it. Now here are some smaller cards as well. These are five by 3.5 uh, portrait. By the way, all of these cards can be portrait or landscape depending on the design that you have on them. And these ones can be, you know, for the less important things like RSVP or directions, how to get to your party or dinner and dancing, as I said, a schedule for the uh, event. And here are the same designs for the floral one, which you can see again is a very different look, but just as nice. And finally, if you want to have some pre-printed stickers or labels that you want to put on the envelopes, then again, you've got these lovely address labels, which come in the exact same theme as the cards. And you can also do any kind of other stickers like love or your names or anything like that. So it doesn't need to be an address label, but that's the main purpose of it. Now, when it comes to the cards, they are priced individually. So I'm not going to give you any prices here. Uh, go onto the website and do a quote for yourself, depending on the amount of quantity and the different um, card stock and features that you need for your card. I think they are very reasonably priced. And again, when you have your discount, you're going to pay a lot less than the actual standard price on the website. The final thing I want to talk about is the wall art section, which as I mentioned, no wedding would be perfect without your favorite photo going onto the wall. You can choose from canvas prints, uh, acrylic prints, metal prints, and poster prints. Some of these can be framed, some of them come without frames. And again, you've got quite a few size selections to choose from and different finishes. So together with the guest book that you can create as a specific photo book, um, I think this is a complete bundle that you need for that special day. You've got all kinds of cards. You've got the photo books, which come again in two different formats. One which is a more elegant version, one which is a, a more affordable version if you want to give away a lot of them or if you're on a very tight budget. And you've also got some stationary items to embellish those envelopes. So this was uh, my quick review of the Mixbook wedding collection. Uh, so as you can see, if you plan to have your wedding, then these are the things that you can choose from. And as I mentioned, there are hundreds and hundreds of ready-made or pre-designed themes that you can choose from. So no need to create any of these for yourself and you don't have to pay to create the designs. You, you can choose and test as many as you want. And when you find something that you really like, you can just order it for yourself. All in all, it's a much cheaper service than getting it through some custom bespoke um, wedding specialist. 
Uh, there are certain things missing, like uh, the very high end of the luxury products. So if you think about the photo books, they haven't got any genuine leather covers or acrylic covers. Uh, wedding uh, album boxes or presentation boxes. These items usually cost, or these bundles usually cost uh, well above two, three hundred dollars for a photo book. Mix book is much better priced than that. So for the general uh, mid-range budget, you won't find those extra elements, but definitely all of these items are going to be in the affordable range compared to wedding specialist services. So if you have any more questions about these products, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Go onto my blog if you want to see um, the latest voucher codes for Mixbook or if you want to see more up close images about these products. And if you're interested in other Mixbook reviews, I've done so many in the past. Uh, they are on my YouTube channel. There's going to be some links in the description. Make sure to watch those if you want to see more about paper types and binding types in these photo books. In this video, I just touched it briefly, but I've got extensive extensive videos all about the little details in the photo books. Thank you very much for watching and as always subscribe for more.